What's going on, movie girls? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Sea World Productions. You guys, we got a brand new fresh teaser for The Marvels, releasing November of this year. It's the sequel to Captain Marvel, the sequel to kind of WandaVision and Monica Rambeau's story, and the sequel to Miss Marvel. Now, you guys, it has been confirmed that The Marvels is the shortest Marvel movie in length in the MCU thus far. And you know, a lot of people on Twitter are going crazy. Why, why is it so short? This is a problem. There's always a complaint of something that's too long and something that's too short. I'm pretty sure Nia DaCosta, the director of this movie, has intended this film to be the length she intended it to be. I don't think there's anything to worry about, honestly, you guys. I think people are just blowing this way out of proportion. The Marvels, it's going to do good at the box office. I don't think it's going to reach the billion dollar mark like the first film did. Um, but I do think that it has more of a better success rate at the box office now that Warner Brothers has delayed Dune Part 2 to next year. Now, the Marvels will have the IMAX screenings because when Dune was going to be releasing in November, the Marvels had zero IMAX screenings. So that was going to ultimately hurt the box office run for the Marvels. But now that Dune is out of the pictures, I do think that the Marvels has a better opportunity to succeed at the box office. But all in all, you guys, I'm looking forward to the Marvels. I'm looking forward to see how these characters can grow in the MCU. I'm looking forward to see how Carol Danvers and Monica Rambeau and how their relationship, you know, and how it's, you know, it was affected in the, the previous, you know, films and shows or whatever because of the connection between Monica's mom and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of different elements I'm looking forward to ultimately. But I'm excited for one thing, and that is to definitely, definitely dive deep into more of the cosmic world in the MCU. I think that's something that needs to be more explored and something that's so, so it's, it's more interesting the more we get into it because, you know, Diving deep into like the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, you know, I mean, that's top tier stuff. I mean, Guardians is easily one of the greatest trilogies of all time. And Guardians 3 is probably, like I said, it's it's in my top five MCU films of all time. It was just great. So diving deep more into the cosmic world is something I'm looking forward to, you guys. But enough talk. Let's check out this official new trailer for The Marvels. Oh, let's get into it. All right, you guys ready? One, two, three. It gets pretty lonely out here. She's always off planet. I the memories that the Kree took for me. You are Carol Danvers, the most powerful person I knew. Way before you could shoot fire from your fists. I get in trouble for that. I can see that about you. <laughs> oh, God, Nick Fury. What happens when... Finally set free. Your binary. I'll be back before you know it. Lieutenant Trouble. Ha ha ha. You left. Mom passed away. I got flipped back. They rounded us to investigate earthbound anomalies. Wanda Vision, baby. So good, man. Really curious to see her power set. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Where's our daughter? Yes, where is Kamala? Who's Kamala? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hi. How do you have this? My grandma sent it to me in the mail. Have you ever wanted to make sure of that? And it actually happened. But it's not as great as you imagined it. You want to save the world? Higher for the faster, baby. I knew it. November 10th. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. 
And like I stated in one of my earlier videos, I don't care to see Nick Fury again. I don't care to see the scrolls ever again. I think the scrolls are one of the worst things that ever happened to the MCU. Secret Vision is the bottom tier of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Nick Fury is just flat out not interesting anymore. You know, I can't get past. I can't get past, man, just how badass he was in, you know, Winter Soldier and you know, jumping back to like Captain Marvel and showing him kind of like dumbed down and you know what I mean? I get he was early Nick Fury, but losing his eye to the Florkin, you know, goose or whatever, I was just like, mm, just didn't do it for me. And ever since then, I just don't really care for Nick Fury. And I'd be, uh, to be completely honest with you guys, I'd be completely fine if I never saw Nick Fury again in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I felt like he served his purpose in the earlier phases, putting the team together and I think it's time we move on. You know what I mean? That's just me, you guys. You know, I, I'm sorry, but Secret Invasion still leaves a nasty taste in my mouth because I, it's just, ugh, 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 ugh. It's just bad, you guys. Bad. <laughs> Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this kind of retro teaser for the Marvels. You know what I mean? Old footage from Captain Marvel, WandaVision, and Miss Marvel. You know, they're the ultimate team coming together to defeat this cosmic entity. Post your comments down below, you guys, to let me know what you guys think. Peace.